In this Caden Live tutorial I will show you how to create horizontal split screen video clips. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Caden Live. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I've brought two clips into the project bin but before starting one of the things that um, more advanced video editors are capable of doing is multiplying uh, one image over the other and although you can do um, split screens in something like open shot and it's a lot of effort um, I'll try and do a tutorial on the horizontal split sometime in the next few weeks but with Caden Live um, and some of the more advanced editors it's a lot easier. So before starting if you just right click in the projects bin and then select add color clip and next to the word color clip just left click on the black bar and select the white option and then left click on OK and this will bring in a pure white image to the aspect ratio of your video. Now I'm going to drag this into track 2 and you need to be in the effects box and open up the alpha transform section by left clicking on the little arrow and the effects you want you may not see that's because the main effects is usually selected what you want is show all video effects and what you're looking for is something called position and zoom drag this over your white image now you can position this in both directions um, you can even rotate it if you use another effect but for this I'm just going to do a 50% split now this video is a 1080 high so if you place your pointer over the Y not the Y, the zero over the Y hold your left mouse button down you can position the white image to a place you want your first video to be visible in. Now I've made this 540 which is half of 1080. Now if you bring your first clip in that you want to work with, snap it up to the timeline and then just drag the image to match the length of the clip. I'm going to just increase the um, scale of this a bit. OK. Now if you go into compositions instead of effects what you're looking for is something called multiply. Drag this over between the two tracks and it should snap up to the end and this will happen. And now if you go back into effects and drag position and zoom select the track as well you can position your video again by dragging the y-axis up and down. So let's go for I don't know have a nice view on this number eight. That will do. Now if you bring your next clip into track one and sometimes it gets a bit snappy but there you are we're in track one. And again I'll just adjust the length so it matches the video. You should be able to see your video below the first one and all you need to do with this one is select the track, drag position and zoom over it 
and you can also adjust the position of your video to suit. And that's basically all there is to it. If you want to put a black border in the middle, what you'll need to do is place your pointer over track 3 or V3, right click and then left click add track. And make sure it says above V3 and left click OK. Right click in the project spin, add color clip change the color to the color you want to use so let's go for black left click OK drag this into track 4 snap it up to the end and this time what you're looking for is crop drag this over make sure you select the track and you've got crop top and crop bottom and basically what you need to do, I'll just drag this over a bit, is adjust it to, I don't know, let's go, keep it equal, Oop, wrong one, crop bottom, that's the one. And all I would do is just gradually work to, I don't know, let's make this the same. In fact, what I'll do here is I'll just manually type this in. And that's all there is to it, really. Shan't go into rendering or anything. Hopefully, that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.